Welcome to the new video. Today I will talk about the RxJS map operator. Our starting point is a fresh Angular project where I created a dashboard module and I already created some folders where we store our files, which we will create within this tutorial. Furthermore, I already created a dashboard page which just renders the word hi. As we can see in the browser, there is nothing else so far, just hi. At first, let's create a service which returns a mock value. To do so, we create a new service here. We right-click the services folder and use the Angular CLI to create a new service. The service gets the name player service and we confirm it. The next step is to create a function which will return mock data for our player. For this, we need to create a function named get player info, which will return an empty observable so far. As we haven't looked at the data structure so far, we will start with that now and for this we create a player model in the models folder. We create a new interface which we export directly. This interface will have the properties first name, last name and date of birth. The next thing we want to do is that we want to create mock data for this interface here. Then let's copy the player file. For this, we just hit Ctrl C and Ctrl V again. Let's rename the file to player.mock.ts. We don't want to create another interface. What we want to do is to create a new variable which holds the mock data. Now navigate to the player service and add the mock variable to the return of the function. Furthermore, we add the return type observable of players to the function. Our service now acts as a normal backend service which return an observable of player which completes directly after subscription. Now let's navigate to the player TS file. In our final result, we don't want to show the date of birth, we want to show the age. Therefore, we need some kind of an interface which holds the age and not the date of birth, because we follow clean code principles which say that interfaces should only hold necessary data. To do so, we create a new type which is some kind of a special type of interface. We initialize this type with the omit utility type of TypeScript, with which we can drop specific properties. As first generic parameter, we use the player model, and the second parameter are the properties you want to drop. In our case, it's the date of birth. Our player view model now just represents the first name and the last name. We have to add a new property by adding the end operator to the end of the type and just add the new property inside the brackets. Now we have an interface which fits perfectly to our requirements. Let's create a folder components and inside this folder we create a new component which uses this view model we just created. We name the component player widget. Now let's add the component we just created to the dashboard page. Next step is to jump to the component file we just created. There we create a public property called playerViewModel, which we will initialize with the observable of the service. The property has the type observable of playerViewModel. Doing this, we will realize that the component types do not fit together because player and player view model don't have the same properties. Of course, we expected this because we are smart. We still need to convert our date of birth to age. Only then the data types match and the compiler error will resolve. To do so, we call the pipe function of the observable and pass the map function to it. The map function just gets the player as an input and will transform it. In our case, it's creating a new object 
with the correct data type. In the curly braces, we do nothing else than copying the old object and setting a value for the property age. For calculating the age, we just call another pure function from the utils folder. The next step is to create the calculate age function, which I already prepared. It gets the date of birth as input and returns the age. To make it work, we have to import the function we just created. To see the result, we have to create the HTML of the component. For this, we create a diff. With the ngif angular notation, we use the async pipe to subscribe to the observable and we save the result in the player view model variable. Then we just have to build up our HTML accordingly. When we now have a look at the browser, we see that the age is displayed correctly. You want to improve your programming skills? Then subscribe to the channel and click the bell. Bing.